Housewives of Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Christine Quinn's book is called yeah. How to Be a Boss Bitch. It's out now. Kat Gossick is Christine Quinn's stylist. Great to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Erica, who from other Bravo shows are you friendly with? You mentioned uh, Kenya earlier. Yeah, Kenya and Candy both reached out. Um, Dorinda, you know, when I think about the women that reached out to me during this like really dark moment in my life, um, and I, I really appreciate it, I really do. Those are the women that come to mind. Those so three? Yes. All right. And there were some others, please forgive me, but right. you know, just off the top That's of your head. That's who's at the, off the right. top of your yeah, head. Please forgive me if I don't you know, Yes. Remember. All right, let's go back to our virtual audience, Tanya and Laura from Canada. What's your question for Hi. Erica Jane? Hey, Andy, hi, Erica, hi, Christine. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, so if you could go back in time and give yourself advice before everything happened with Tom and the legal proceedings, what would it be and why? Wow. It's tough to say, you know, because I never saw it ending this way. I never saw this coming. You know, Tom, for all accounts, was a legend in his industry and um, a loving husband. It's sad that it ended this way. I did everything I could. Um, that's all I can really say. Was there ever a time during uh his run yeah. that you thought things aren't adding up or no. this is weird no or... because everyone else around him look you had the sitting governor of california gavin newsom on this show talking about on him this show, yeah. on this show he sitting was. right here yes so if the governor doesn't quote no right how the f am i gonna know right you know like, and then when not... we talked about this a little bit at the reunion when you know uh, it, it came up that Bethany had told me yes. some information and yeah. she had said, I heard Tom actually owes people money and all this right. stuff. Did you ever hear anything like that? Because to, in my mind, I just dismissed it with the rest because well, I was like, well, again, he's this here's guy. The other thing too, in the business that Tom was doing, which was contingent fee, it's not unusual to borrow. So while that may be true, there were also loans that were really paid off. So I don't know where Bethany's coming from, and you know, her guy's dead and my guy's in a home. So, right. whatever. Right. But at the same time, that's kind of the way the business goes. But I just wonder if you had heard, and had you ever no. heard any rumor, and had anyone said, not, this guy's actually in mm, debt or this no. is not? It was, you know, I raised my hand when I knew he was in decline. I was like, hey, we have a problem, we have a problem. But even to this day, it's not really, no one is looking, no one has come, said Erica, I know what happened. No one. They've all just all sort of like pointed at me and you know, you carry it. Are you in touch with anyone from Girardi Keys? Absolutely. These days? Do you think they would call me? I have no idea. They're hiding I mean, in the shadows. Why there, would they come out? Were there people at Girardi Keys who you considered to be yes. real friends who you well, would go out friends, with? Well, not real friends, but there were people that I knew for tw since I was 27 years old. Right. I'm who you would go out 50. with to many meals and many, stuff like many, that? Many, many things. And, and so, and, no, not a soul. Wow. Not a soul. But you know what? When I met Dorinda, and I just want to say this, I met Dorinda for the first time and she ta talked to me, this was years ago, long before any of this had ever happened. She told me about when her husband died and that no one contacted her. Oh. And I swear, and I kind of feel like the same way. Wow. You know, Tom's not dead, but yet legally he is dead, right? As ugly as that sounds, as hard as that but sounds. But also her husband was not like a Bernie Madoff type. But my husband may or may not be. Okay. We're still, we're, they're still investigating. Okay. I'm not defending him, okay. but I'm also taking care of myself at the same time. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't, you know, I saw Tom do a lot of good things for people. So you'd think that some of those people perhaps would be like, hey, Erica, how you doing? Mm -hmm. But that has not happened. Here is Timmy from New York with a question for Christine Quinn. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, hi ladies. Um, hi. My question is, Steen, have you ever tried Emma's infamous empanadas, and what would you rate them from a 1 to a 10? Have I ever tried her empanadas and what? And how would you rate them from 1 to 10? Oh, Lord. I mean, I, no, I've never tried her empanadas. I mean, I've had empanadas in my day, for sure. I'm, right. I'm Whose empanadas down. are we talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm saying I've gone down on some Emma's. empanadas in my day, but oh. I have not had hers, no. You've gone down on some empanadas. Does it, <laughs> is it going down in your DMs these days? <laughs> Uh, it could go down some more, but yeah. Right. You know, I, <laughs> hey, I'm in my prime. <laughs> <Hit me up. laughs> All right. I want to thank Erica Jane, Christine Clare, and Pat Cassidy for more. A quick round of RamoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here.
and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.